Today I'm going to teach you how to make REST API calls using REST web template in Java uh, using Spring Framework. So there are just three steps to take. Meanwhile, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button below. So now here we assume there is a REST web service available at the endpoint and provides list of countries. It could be any endpoint at all on the internet. So let's test it out to check and make sure it returns a list of countries. So if we place it here and go here, you can see a list of country has been returned right here. As you can see, here I have country code one, two, three, four, and the state in the country, and we have country codes to capital Washington, and so on. So now this is a REST web service on the internet, and we want to consume it in our application. How do we do it? So the first step to take, now we have an application I'm working on here. It doesn't return anything. It's just a REST well, controller. There is nothing there. So the first step to take, uh, let's see. The first step is to create a web, a REST web template bin in the application. So let's go to our application and create a REST web template bin. So it's always good to create a bin in this place. So here in the main application file, we just create a bin. How to create a bin is first to use an annotation called add bin. And then you write a public method that returns a REST web template. So just say public REST template get REST templates. So this is how to create a bin and simply return new REST templates. So this is all you need to do and you've created a bin. Okay, so this is the first step. And now the step two, we go to our controller. We need to auto wire the bin into this controller. So if I go to this place, um, I was going to say add auto wire. And I auto wire the bin into this controller. So to wire the bin into this controller, I simply say create a public, a private member variable of the REST web template type. So I'm going to say public REST template REST template. Since this is auto wired, it is going to, the bin is going to automatically provide the REST template object, really. So the next thing, according to the steps we are following, is to I'll now call the web service uh, call the web service that is this web service using the get for object method. So to do that, now we are going to write a little bit of code. So first we're going to specify the endpoint where we want to get this list of countries from. So in our application here, I'm going to use get mapping. I'll notate it with get mapping and we are going to get it from countries. Remember, this application is, is not the same application that we we actually uh, get the countries from. This application that has list of country is running somewhere else, not on port 8080, but somewhere else on the way. But I actually designed this locally. So I'm going to write a function that returns a list of countries using web template, uh, using REST template. So just say public list of object. Now I'm using list of object because this my application does not have the country object. I remember that we are getting list of countries and now my application actually does not have anything to do with countries. Um, but we want to have list of country uh, object. So we actually will unmash out a country into an object because every object in Java, every uh, class in Java uh, is a subclass. Are derived from objects. So let's use objects to unmashally. So we're getting a list of objects and we're going to call it get countries. Okay, so now the methods is where we need to know. You need to pay attention so that you need to understand exactly how it works. All right. So the first thing you want to do is to, I want to just specify my URL so I can say string URL URL equal to and then I want to 
specify that external URL that contain the resource I want to use. So just copy it and put it right there because that is a URL that contain the resource that we want to use. All right, so uh, the next thing we want to do is now call the get for object method of the rest template to return a list of countries for us. So I'm going to say objects lists array of objects. So it returns list of countries as an array of objects. I'm going to say rest templates. Now, if you say dot, you can see a number of things. They can have you have exchange. Exchange can be used, but uh, it's easier for now for you to learn how to use the get for objects. Specify the URL and then the response type. So the response type is simply going to be object. Objects dot class. So it means that when we get a list of items from the get project, you simply make it available as an array of objects. And finally, we are going to return it. Return arrays dot as list objects. All right. So this is all you need to do. And now I'm able to consume a list of countries from my application. So in this my application, this my application runs on port 8080. I can actually get list of countries. So let's just try it. Meanwhile, to make it clear, let me just put a request mapping. A request mapping of uh, my app. So let it be, this is a request mapping of my app. So if I say my app slash countries, I could get, uh, I could get a list of countries right in my app. So it could be a list of anything anywhere on the web. So I'm going to run this, my application called relationship demo, and I would like to have a list of countries there. I uh, hope I'm not missing out anything, hopefully not. So let's just run it as Spring Boot app. Let's go ahead to save everything. So let's see. This my app. My app is running on port eighty eighty. As you can see, it's running on port eighty eighty. What happened? Okay, stop. Okay, so we need to actually stop a whole lot of things. Stop everything. Okay, so so let's go back. Uh, let me just check that this is still working. Okay, so list of country is available here. So I'm going to run this my app again. Let's see, Let's see. make sure nothing is running. Um, all right, so my app. I'm going to the name is relationship demo. So I'm going to run it. The reason is because I use this app to demonstrate or to explain how a relationships work in Spring Framework. The one to many relationship and the many to one relationship. All right, so everything should start successfully. So you can see Tomcat started on port 8080. So if I now go to port 8080, I go to port 8080, let's see, HTTP, uh, local host, port 8080, my app, slash countries. So here we also have list of countries. Now I'm getting it in my application so I'm actually consuming uh, 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 external web service using REST template. So that is how to do it. Uh, if you miss out anything, please review the steps and also you are free to pause and copy the code. It's a, a simple code uh, to use. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and also like my video and share it with your friends. And then we'll see you in the next lesson.